So I can buy background, y'all. So I am about to install this 28 inch lace frontal wig. I will be using some foam mousse, got to be glue spray, extreme edge control hold, my edge control brush, this dirty sponge. I got a wig brush, club brush, and foundation. Okay, y'all. So right now, what I'm actually about to do is just place this here like this. Grab my ray brush and comb this junk out. Now, cause I'm falling apart. Y'all, I love long hair. I love long hair so much. Especially straight hair. Okay. I love the straight hair. I do the straight hair all the time. Hey okay, y'all, so right here I'm just placing the makeup evenly on the front so making sure everything blends in very well. Now I'm placing the first layer of got to be blue spray. Y'all will see me um, place two layers. That's only because I'm not keeping this install in that long. So basically, this is just a glueless install. When placing the lace, make sure you're being very careful and very patient when doing this because this is the most important process. You got to make sure your lace is laid like right, not too far and, you know, not too low, just right in the middle. So just be very careful doing this part. And you see how I'm doing it? I'm just laying it right down on the glue exactly where it's placed. Yeah. 
Alright, so this side is secure. Don't mind it, baby. He is right now. I know it looks crazy, but I promise you, you won't see how it looks. Do y'all see how soft and bouncy this wig is? Make sure y'all go shop Gossip Hair. This is my favorite part, y'all. I love doing my edges. Like, I kind of like the heavy, thick, you know, um, edges look. You know how I'm doing it right now. I'm using my spoolie to kind of mold it. And then um, I will be using my edge control brush to kind of, like, perfect it a little bit more. So I'm using the mousse to help and then topping it off with the extreme edge control and y'all that's the best edge control like i ever used that was my first time using it and purchasing it and it's you know it's great it doesn't flake or it's not crunchy it's just perfect Y'all, honestly, this is 
literally the best flat iron I ever had. It's called Her Styler. And I got this as a gift from my old friend. So it goes all the way up to 450. I already turned it on. I feel like brushes for wigs are very, very necessary and well needed because it makes everything so freaking sleek. Everything real flat and neat. And then I just got an even stick. Stick, 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 stick. This is the most important part, y'all. This is my favorite part, actually. We gotta make sure this whole slip down. I know that for you to have the best sense, though. I'll see how slick that is. Throw him off the boat paddle. Go to deal one up with the kilo on the saddle. Sack him. Hit a lick of copper terror that though. Pap him. Chop him bite down like an apple. Match with the acres with the horses in the cabin. Like a narco. Narco. Got dope like Pablo. Y'all, I did not braid my dress down if y'all were wondering. I just placed two caps on here so it can be flat as possible and then pushed it back because I didn't want to do the ball cap method. Now I'm just about to take some mascara. So right here, I'm taking some mascara and covering up some of the ball spots I have in the front. And y'all, this is the best little hack or DIY or whatever I seen. And I was like, yeah, I gotta try it because I definitely need it. And so this is the best little hack to do if you got ball spots in your wig. When well, I diamonds in the sky, you're a shooting star, I say, a vision of ecstasy. When you hold me, I'm alive. When well, I diamonds in the sky. Oh, 
this is how the hair is looking, y'all. I am done. This is everything. Let me take y'all. And it's a beautiful install, y'all. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn that post notification bell on, and stay tuned for another freaking video, y'all.